here we are again with DHEA and everybody who has any kind of following telling you to take it. Here's why you probably should have a little more caution than that. So this is your steroid hormone pathway. This is the pathway of hormones I am always talking about, always teaching my clients about, always working with my clients on. And you can see up here, hang on, I'm going to zoom in. Okay, here's DHEA and where it comes in. And yes, by the way, cholesterol is a precursor to the steroid hormone pathway and all of these important hormones, which is why we don't need super low cholesterol. Fun fact. But anywho, look at what DHEA feeds into, okay? It feeds into testosterone. It feeds into E1, estrogen. And then from testosterone, actually, in women's bodies, we get E2. E2, or estradiol, is the second estrogen. It's the most common estrogen found in women in their cycling years. It also is a problem for many women who are perimenopausal or postmenopausal because it can be stored in the tissues and often is when the body is experiencing excess toxicity. Fun fact. However, here is the problem with taking DHEA as a supplement, which is a hormone. It's a hormone, which should always say caution. I should not just randomly take advice from random people on the internet without testing, without testing and knowing if it's something I need. Because if you take DHEA and your body instead dumps it into excess testosterone, like it is common to do, you all of a sudden potentially are dealing with 